forgive this woman at all. I think she was crazy. I think she had something going on with her. I think she had a special ill. Well, and she needs help and she really needs help for life. What you, what you, what you, what you, what you want? It better be no filter news and talk. It better be no filter news and talk. It better be no filter news and talk. It better, it better, it better, better. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Filter News and Talk. And yes, I'm saying same girl. That's right, because you got Carolyn Bryant and you got Teresa Klein, both accusing young black boys of some type of sexual assault, harassment. Um, yeah, Carolyn Bryant is the one that accused Emmett Till and had Emmett Till killed, and he was only 14 years old. Had him beat, hung, murdered, you know. And then Teresa Klein is the one that accused Jeremiah in 19, wait a minute, hold up, in 2018 of grabbing her ass. Oh, yes. And they didn't have gave her the name of Cornerstone Carolyn. But this is why she's a problem. Some people are saying that this whole thing with all of these women coming out and targeting black people people innocent black people and saying that you know they're doing these things that they're they're wrong doing you can't barbecue you can't be at the pool you can't do this trying to police black people because they know that they feel like well i'm a police or if i call the police you'll be shot down like a dog so they, they use that a lot I'm, I'm gonna call the cops i'm gonna call the cops you know so this is what been going on lately <laughs> so a lot of people are saying that it's a whole gentrification process and if for those of you who doesn't know what that means that's the process of renovating or improving a house or district so that it conforms to middle class tastes the process of making a person or activity more ref refined or polite it could be it could be that whole process it really could or it could be something else. Now, amongst these other ones, so let me go back. Now, Cornerstone Carol, she finally f saw the footage that he didn't grab her ass. He, it was his book bag that brushed up against her. The store looked it kind of packed. The mom probably was just coming home, picking up the kids from school, stopped at the store to get some snacks, and then boom, this incident happened. Now, some people saying that you know, it's, this is just, you know, it's random, random women, you know, they're accusing black people of doing some of the most, you know, terrible things or, you know, just picking on black people, coming in these black areas and harassing them, harassing them, trying to force them out so that they can take over the neighborhoods. But I think that it's a big money scheme. I got a big money scheme and you ain't even with it. A big money scheme a scam I do I think so and I'm gonna tell you why why are all these women middle-aged white women and it's like they're purposely trying to look like oh well this is just my everyday look you know nobody is never dressed up nobody is finna go anywhere they're all jeans and you know they're all jeans jeans t-shirt shirt you know it's just hey i was just doing this going about my everyday life mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. i believe blacks are being targeted because these white women have another agenda i feel like they are scheming they don't care anything about the PTSD that the blacks suffer from these type of incidents. They don't care anything about that. These women are scheming. They are. I, <laughs> it's a it's a scam. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're friends. I believe they're friends. I believe they're pro part of some Facebook group that has probably been shut down now because, you know, all of the heat. So they're trying to break the connection. But they're connected in some type of way. I just don't know it yet. <laughs> I'm putting my finger on it. They're connected. These incidents aren't random. It's not copycat. It's not a domino effect. These are purposely related 
incidents. They're purposely related. These are purposely done. Is you know they get they look they trying to look like okay well I'm gonna blend in. Let me put myself in their shoes. I'm gonna blend in. I'm gonna throw on some jeans. I'm gonna act like you know that I'm going about my everyday. You know throw on some jeans and mess my hair up. You know this is this is my regular day. So I'm I'm pin, I'm pinpointed and I'm blamed to be the bad guy. Okay, I'm the bad guy. I didn't. The young man didn't grab my ass. Uh, people can barbecue where they barbecuing at. People can swim where they were swimming at. You know, he can walk the halls where he was living at. <laughs> he can go to his apartment. You know, but I'm a pull a ten. I'm a pretend that I'm going about my regular day, right? Follow me here, and then pick a random black person and causes drama causes a scene with them and then the scene goes viral cause a scene because nine times out of ten people have their phone on them so let's cause a scene you go patty you go you go this time you go in october you go in november you go in december you go here okay and then we're going to cause a scene now this is a scene where it's not where somebody's getting hurt or somebody could be shot but this is just a mild scene, just enough to get national attention. Mind you, nobody's ever swung on. Nobody's ever fighting in, in those scenes. I, I got the guy. I got the guy. I got the guy. I got the perfect guy. You know, he's a, he's a real gentleman. I got the guy. You know, he doesn't know me. I doesn't know him. But I got the guy. I'm telling you, I know who I'm going to get. <laughs> And so they cause these scenes, right? And then they get on the news and they look totally different because now it's different. It's, it's, the news is ball game. Let's play ball. So now when they get on the news, they look presentable. Their hair is combed. They, now, I'm sorry. I feel sorry. I feel bad about what I did. Now you want the whole media to feel sorry for you. So now here it is, the turn of events. So you went from the villain to the victim. Right there. Bam. You went from the villain to the victim. Now you're telling everybody that you're sorry and, yeah, and I lost my job because of it. Boom. There it is. See, because when they lose their job, when they when they do these little events and these little schemes and whatever, and picking a random black guy, and then they get national attention, then they get on the news. So right there, they turn from villain to victim, and then they lose their job. That's when the donations come in, people. They get donations. Didn't Darren Wilson get donations for shooting Michael Brown? He got all the way up to probably a million and some dollars in donations. Because their people is still going to support them no matter what. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? Their people are still going to support them no matter what. Do you hear me? <laughs> but the black people is left us, and they're stuck. They're they're left holding that that like I said, dealing with that PTSD, that post traumatic. You know, stress disorder because of the incident, and if and you and you can hear the mom saying, the guy said, "Let's make it go viral." In the background, the guy was like, "Let's make it go viral." She was like, "No, no, no." He said, "No, not for you, for her." And she was like, "No, no, no." The mom didn't want no parts of it. She didn't want none of that. The mom didn't want none of that. Do you hear me? But the white one was like, here, she specifically tells him, here, put this on your world star. She wanted to go viral. She wanted to go viral because that's the whole scheme of things. They people are still going to support them. If I can make a quick 400000 for, you know, for a month worth of, you know, maybe even three weeks, three to four weeks worth of um national attention, I'm good. I ain't made a... I ain't made a four hundred thousand all you know in years. Never. 
So I'm going to come up quick. I wouldn't be surprised if they all go on vacation. Somebody pay for the vacation once. Other people pay for the vacation. I wouldn't be surprised. We, we would know it. How would we know it? Because think about it. They don't investigate them. They investigate the victim. You know, the whole hallway Hillary incident, the D'Arion toes. When you Google his name, his rap sheet come up. They don't investigate them. They investigate the victims. They investigate the black people. They don't investigate them. So nobody's looking at their phone records to see if these women know each other, have been calling each other. Nobody's, in, they're not going to investigate that. These women know each other. I can put money on it. And nobody would ever know if they out on vacation or whatever. Nobody's not going to know that. Change my wig, change my hair color, throw some makeup on. You're not going to know that. I bet you. <laughs> I could be wrong, but these incidents, I know it happens. Oh, it happens, but mm -mm. these women know each other. They're probably trying to get little Johnny through college. You know, they're probably going to have fun and go on vacation. Or it is some women that goes over to, like, Africa and go over to other countries and have sex with black men. You know, I'm, they do this. They're trying to pay for something. They're trying to be comfortable in their lifestyle. And what is a better way to do it if I don't have to work? I can just create this scene, you know, get national attention, get everything, and then play the victim. Oh, well, I'm getting so many phone calls a day. They're threatening me. They're threatening my life. I get letters. Nobody asks to see their phone records to see if they're getting phone calls of, threatens, of threats. Nobody asks to see their mail. Show me the threatened letters that you get. No, nobody's not going to investigate them. Do you hear me? I'm telling y'all, nobody's not going to investigate them. These women know exactly what they're doing, and they're doing it. They love it. They love it. Did you hear me? They love it. They love what they're doing. They don't care about the families. They said, well, all they're going to do is just march. They're going to march and hold their hands up, and they're going to sing Black Lives Mar Matters, but they ain't really going to do nothing. They know that the black people is probably most likely not going to press charges. They don't want to deal with the police. They don't like the police, so they're not going to press charges. And boom, boom, boom. Like I said in my last video, just like De'Arion told, his whole statement was, I'm not going to go after her legally. See, they know it. They know that they're not going to go after you legally. They're not going to press charges. This woman is probably on a plane right now going to Jamaica or Hawaii. These women are probably vacationing. Oh, it's too much stress. See, the moment they say, and I lost my job. See, they lost their job. So now the donation is going to pour in. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, Hillary. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Oh, wow. Well, here, here's a check for two grand. And they, oh, we got to do something. We, we, we got to help her out. You know, she didn't know. I don't blame her. Right. Oh, my God. I don't blame her. So, well, let, let's, let's take some things over here for her. You poor thing. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all don't want to believe me, but I'm telling y'all, this is exactly what's going on. I don't care nothing about that. This is a scheme. This is a scheme and a scam, however you want to say it. This is what these women are doing. They're doing it, and they're doing it well. That's why they, it, it happens in random areas. Because they know each other from a Facebook group. They're in some type of group. They're probably in a weight loss group. Only one in that group that was thin that I know of was Teresa Klein. Everybody else was overweight, see? Middle age, overweight. It's never nobody that's about that shit. It's never no black, no white woman that's got her hair did, business suit on. This bitch, she's a realtor. Hill Hallway Hillary is a realtor. You mean to tell me that just this particular day she happened to be relaxed? And walking the dog and her hair is just all over her head. You, 
you know, I, I, let me look regular as possible. Let me look. Okay, here he come. Go. That boy probably come home at the same time like clockwork. He come home like that every time. Okay, boom. Let me, here he come. Let me do it. Okay, where are you going? Where are you going? And so, <laughs> and Teresa Klein, she bent all over. She's bent over the counter. Now, I don't know what she could be buying. You know, I know sometimes you might bend over the counter because you're telling somebody what you want. Okay, that bottle over there. But she's bent all over the counter. Almost like on purpose. These women know each other. This is a scheme. This is a scheme on black people at black people's expense. This is this is a way that they're making money. This is the way they're making money. And nobody's saying nothing about it. They they feel like I'm not hurting anybody. Somebody, we're gonna have more. We're gonna have more. They're gonna spread it out, and then we're gonna have more. Different women. Okay, now you go, Justice. You go. You go, Sarah. You go, Betty. Okay, you go. You go. See, because this money got to hold them over 500000 Their people support them. They get donations from this stuff. These people actually come up. Oh, gosh, yes, I can get that new car. Yes. Oh, my gosh, I can, I can do this. Little Timmy is, oh, wow, he can get, go to school. You know. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> y'all don't want to believe me or not, but I'm just saying from what I see, I feel like it's a scam. I feel like it, they try too hard. You're trying so hard to blend in. You got on shades, a sweater, you know, what's the one, uh, <laughs> barbecue, Becky, let me see, she got on shades. And, you know, they look so, trying to look so regular all over, all over. It's perfect that they're not in the same city. Hmm. I don't know what y'all going to say. I don't know what y'all going to do, but I'm telling y'all, it don't look right. But y'all let me know what y'all think. I feel like these women is scamming. Big time. And I feel like the FBI should be involved. I feel like they need to press, the black people need to press charges and press, press them to the fullest extent of the law. Don't worry about being normal and wanting it to go away. Nah, they need to be investigated. Press those charges, corrupt their plan, because it's a plan. Oh, it's definitely a plan. These are not random acts. It's a plan. This is planned. But I'm going to bring y'all a part two to this because I'm going to dig deeper for some information. I know I'm not going to be able to find out too much information because right now different accounts are deleted and these women are not, um, you know, they don't want to be found out. So, yeah, they probably got their little, how they all met. They probably got it deleted. They could be college buddies. Nobody know because they're not going to be investigated. But look, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you feel. Let me know how you feel in the comments. And that's my time. Bye-bye.